Rated PG-13. What's up guys, Middle Age Gamer here, and we are playing Train Sim World CSX Heavy Haul. I just got the GP40-2 DLC. There's a few scenarios on there. We're gonna go ahead and play through the scenarios tonight if we can. And I'll be giving away some free games at the end of each scenario. As you guys can see, I am live streaming at twitch.tv and also live streaming on YouTube as well. Always catch me at twitch.tv slash middleagegamer in the future in case you wanna watch my live streams. Anyways, um, we're going to be playing, it's called Sand Patch Sunrise, it's a scenario, about 70 minutes long, relatively easy, 2 out of 5, and it says an earlier service of coal empties traveling to Rockwood has become stranded after it encountered a traction motor failure near Fairhope. You're, you are tasked, or you are tasked with taking a couple of helper units to rescue it and run it back down to Cumberland Yard for later use. Sounds pretty fun, we'll see what, what actually it is in reality. Have yet to play the GP40-2, so this should be pretty interesting. Here we go. I know, Carpenter. Soon. I promise you very soon. I've been wanting to. What up, Jonathan? Thank you for, excuse me, for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. Ooh, it's nighttime. Uh-oh. This is really early, guys. Look at the beautiful stars. Remember your torch. Uh, do I actually have a torch, though? I don't know how to use a torch if that's the case. All right, I guess we're following the markers. There's a pair of, I guess, GP40-2s that I really can't see. Super dark outside. Um, yeah, I see I would love to get on there. Is there a way to get a, oh, there's my light. There we go. Much better. So you hit L on the keyboard. Um, can we get up over here? Nope. Just kidding. Go around, I guess. There's a guy in here. That was creepy. Scared the shit out of me, dude. Oh my god. It's like, uh, I feel like I'm playing Outlast right now. <laughs> oh, let's turn that back on while we're still here. Turn the cab lights on, there we go. Definitely need that tonight. What up Tyson, how's it going man? I have no clue Crusher, cause I'm the middle aged gamer. I mean, come on, you know that. So headlights, need to be on bright, there we go. Rear headlights need to be on, what does it say, dim? Set the reverser forward. Okay, throttle to notch one, release the independent brake. So, uh-oh, that was interesting. I don't know what I just hit. Okay, stop at location, red signal, 3.4 miles to go is what it says. But I have a speed limit of what, about 10 right now? What's my speed limit? I can't even tell. <laughs> Looks like it's right around 10. <laughs> Carpenter, that's funny man. I just played CSX Heavy all the other day and I feel like I completely forgot all the controls. The guy scared the crap out of me. That's what really what the problem is. Hey, Jonathan, it will let you chat on Twitch here in about probably 10 minutes. Um, you have to be followed or have clicked followed and then wait about 10 minutes before you can chat on there. So it will definitely let you here in a little bit. Yeah, you really can't see a whole lot of anything. <laughs> there you go. Carpenter said it right there. <laughs> I 
That is one majestic train right there, as Troll stated. That's some nice headlights, right? You would think they would start off with like a scenario where you can actually see the train in good detail, but we'll have to check it out later. Looks pretty basic on the inside. Go ahead and open some windows up. Get a little air going. And, uh, yeah, no easy way to put this in auto control at 10 miles per hour, unfortunately. Yeah, so it's about 4 a.m. right now. Hopefully it's daylight by the end of the scenario. Since it's 70 minutes long, so about an hour long. Should be daylight. Or the sun should be at least rising at the bare minimum. Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out, coming by. Definitely appreciate it. I'm pretty excited to try these new scenarios out. I just hope I don't jack them up too bad. Cheers to everybody who's watching as well. Just want to see if this guy actually changes throughout the scenario or not. Usually, it will change once or twice at the bare minimum. Still going up a pretty big incline, but we should be getting clearance to 25 miles per hour here shortly. There we go. There's the clearance I was looking for. Turn the end cab light off real quick. <laughs> that wasn't exactly 10 million years, Carpenter, to buy the fence. This is creepy. It's like a whole different game at night, too. Really strange. So I guess in real life, would they have the cab light on the entire time or would they turn it off so they could see what they're doing? That's the real question. See, Crusher's more accurate, Carpenter. Although if you guys were playing the prices right, you'd both lose by a lot. There's no winner on today's prices, right? Good luck. Where am I at the, on the map? Let me look. All right, so basically I'm on the slowest part of the route on Sam Patch grade. About a third. The train passing us by. Looks like a coal train from what I can see. Again, I apologize for it being so dark outside. Not much I can do on that scenario or that front though. Yeah, Crusher, if you can, that would definitely help me out. I'm just curious. I would assume they would keep it on if they're stopped and then turn the cab light off if moving, but I could be wrong on that. Never really had to uh, do this in a scenario from what I remember, though. What up, Sky Rivet? How's it going, man? Thank you for coming on by. I definitely appreciate it. And Jonathan, if you're on Twitch right now, you should be able to talk by, uh, by this time. It's been a few minutes.
Go and get back in cab. I don't know if you guys saw my last video I just uploaded on YouTube. I started off in the summer rain on the service and it ended up to being like 100% fog to where you couldn't see in front of you. I don't know what's scarier though, running this in the nighttime or having the fog. This almost looks creepier than the fog does. I don't know, Troll. I, I don't get a lot of views on the videos is the problem, so... I like Stranded Deep. I feel like I'm getting towards the end of what you can actually do in the game. I probably need to finish it off with a couple more videos, but... I mean, when I upload a video and there's only 25 views over the past year, it doesn't really make me want to do more videos on that game. Now, a game like Stardew Valley, like, which I really, really like playing, I could care less if anybody watched that just because it's such a good game. But Stranded Deep is it's good, but it's not a game that I would continue to play for no reason. I feel like I would continue it on if I had more views. Bigfoot runs over the tracks. What up, Tyson? How's it going, man? Yeah, we got, we got a couple boats saying fog is scarier. I kind of agree with you guys. I think the fog would mess with your, your vision a lot more too. Maybe start seeing things in the mysterious fog slash clouds. I got a yellow signal coming up in about 200 and somewhat yards. Still at 25 miles per hour, which is to be expected. And we got about another 1.8 miles to go before the red signal that we're supposed to stop at. <laughs> there you go, Crusher. I'm down for that. Speaking of that, multiplayer, not necessarily in Transim. I'm going off talk again. But Stardew Valley, they just released an article stating that they're going to release multiplayer in that game, which I think is pretty epic if they can do that. So if you guys haven't played Stardew Valley, go out there, support that developer. It's a really, really great game. And then hopefully down the road, if you guys play it, we can do some multiplayer together. I would really love to do multiplayer in this game, though. I just feel like that's going to be a long time before it happens. They are troll, but they haven't given anybody a time frame. as far as when they would release multiplayer in this game, as far as I know. A little bit of a bummer, but uh, my hope is they come out with it sometime next year, hopefully by summertime at the latest. Yeah, I agree, Strummer. 100% on that. Turn the cab light back on real quick. Still the same guy. I feel like I'm gonna look over and it's gonna be like a clown sitting right next to me. Let me shut these windows real quick. There we go. Again, I, I highly doubt they would run the locomotive with the cab light on, but I don't I just don't know. Um, on CSX Heavy Haul Troll, definitely the AC 4400CW is my favorite. I've driven it like four times longer than the other locomotives in the game. <laughs> Off-roader. Everything you're seeing is real, 100%. All those ghosts? No, I don't know. I've told most of you guys my ghost story. I'm not going to talk about that tonight, but I have seen a ghost. And yeah, your eyes kind of plays tricks on you at nighttime, especially if you're driving. If you're tired, especially, I think your eyes play even more tricks on you. Mailboxes look like animals in the game, or oh, in real life. Yeah, I can see that. 
especially if you're paranoid of like something jumping out in the road like a deer or something that you might hit. All right, less than a mile to go to the red signal. It's coming up. Still stuck at 25, which is fine. Sun's coming up. You can start seeing it's getting a little bit lighter. It's still really, really dark outside, but I hope is that we got some sun before the end of the scenario. What up, Roblox? How's it going, man? Welcome to the uh, the stream. Definitely appreciate you coming by. Can't really see anything unless there's street. I mean, obviously the street lights help out as far as seeing other things, but it's still really, really dark outside. That's freaky off-roader. Tell you what, man. If you want to see a ghost, the best time to be up is like 3 to 4.30 a.m., somewhere in that time frame. You want to hear the horn troll? Here we go. There's the horn. I'm sure we'll pass a crossing. Or pass quite a few crossings here in this scenario, but... There's your horn blast. get back in cab because we got to stop coming up definitely I don't want to pass the stopping point because you can see the red signal is going to be probably just past where we're actually stopping at I don't know, the horns to me sound the same as like the SD, maybe even the AC 4400CW, but I'm no horn expert, so I couldn't tell you. I think they reused it from the uh, SD 40 myself, but you guys are the trained experts, not me. I just play this video game because it relaxes me, so. Getting close, just taking my time getting to the stopping point. Hopefully I'm not losing points for any reason. Troll, that's a big question. So after the German route comes out, my thoughts is that it's going to be an American route after that. You know, they're going to go America, UK, Germany, and do that rotation until some different things come out for a while. And uh, Amtrak's actually a good, well, at least what I think is a good contender for the next route to come out after the uh, rapid transit comes out. I wonder if Matt from uh, Dovetail Games would tell you guys that or not. I don't know if he would. It'd be cool if he did, though. Okay, so we got clearance to go ahead and proceed. Release the brakes, get the throttle going. That's scary off-roader. Definitely got some paranormal activity then. All right, so I guess there's a stranded D746 unit train, which I have no clue what that means. Maybe it's a full consist of something. Oh, it's coming up on us, isn't it? What's it doing out here by itself is the real question. How'd you get out here train in the middle of nowhere? That's kind of creepy. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm hoping to troll. That'd be awesome. Take a look again. Can't really see anything that another a bunch, I guess, of a bunch of empty wagons can't even talk today. Alright, so let's get back in the cab. We're gonna go ahead and set the reverser to neutral. Uh, auto brake handle to off. Oops. There we go. Cut out. There we go. Set the MU2A valve to trail six. Turn off fuel pump and the engine and everything else. <laughs> Let's see, can we, uh, what's, what's an easy way to get to that panel? There we go. Okay. Switch off the radio. Basically, we're switching off all the lights is what it looks like. Oops. There we go. They're going to make me walk outside in this dark. I'm kind of scared, guys. It's the cab light. Got to turn off the other cab light, too. So let's get up, walk over there. And let's turn the flashlight on. Basically, we're just getting the other cab is what's happening. And hopefully another train is not coming to hit me. That would be really bad. Okay, I guess my guy is not going to hang out with me. Hopefully no clowns show up in the process for any reason. Uh, can I close the door, please? That would be awesome. cab light on so we can get everything set up. Definitely want my gauge lights on. Let's get over to the fuse cabinet real quick. Radio on. Go, let's get back over to where we were at in the engineer seat. So it should be bright, I believe, and dim on the back. There we go. This should be the lead now. To freight. I like how it kind of walks you through everything. Set the auto brake to release. Guess we're about good to go, aren't we? Brake pressure should be fine. There we go. Hello, Jonathan. Just saw you text. So it says a big empty coal train and traction motor broke. All right, got that. Yeah, reverse Ford, I'm going. I don't think this pair of uh, locomotives has a whole lot of power. I see that offer, notch eight. <laughs> We're only going up to 25 miles per hour. I don't know, racer, it's hard for me to say. I, I need to really complete the scenarios and see what kind of services it gives to you so my whole opinion on this honestly is going to be based solely off the fact of how the scenarios or how good or bad the scenarios are yeah i don't know why the amperage isn't showing that's kind of strange isn't it there we 
everything is where it should be. We have to actually set up the dynamic brake too since we're starting to go downhill. So let me go ahead and do this if I can. I can't set up the dynamic brake. Strange. See the end in the cluster. Am I in neutral? Oh, yeah, right. How am I moving forward then? Yeah, you're 100% right. That's crazy. That's probably why I couldn't set up the uh, dynamic brake either, because I was in neutral. Thank you, Crush, for that. Appreciate it, man. That was a pretty bad mistake right there. What up, Alejandro? What up, Eric Hill, Kelsey? Yeah, Kelsey, we just had a, we had a uh, snowstorm here for like a night, which was absolutely insane. Speed. I was hoping my dynamic brake would keep me from going over 25, but I don't know if it is or not. Going to use my automatic brake too, just in case. Yeah, Crusher. <laughs> oh man, I feel like I almost feel like an idiot, but I don't. Uh oh, I'm overheating the dynamic brake too. Overheating the brakes in general, I should say. Alejandro, I've been streaming, um, Jesus, I don't know, probably 20 minutes maybe at the most. Just started up. Yeah, it was. I was actually wearing a, a t-shirt today, just to give you an idea of how crazy the San Antonio weather is, Kelsey. Damn, five inches of snow in Mississippi, Alabama. I can't remember the last time we had snow in San Antonio, but I think it was early 2000s sometime I think it's not something that's really typical around here that's for sure it's definitely starting to lighten up outside though so we should be able to get a good exterior view coming up here in about probably 20-30 minutes at the most Race, I don't, I don't know what to think on DLC quite yet, so I have to play the scenarios to kind of figure that out, just in case you didn't hear that before. Eric, what do you mean? How am I doing? What on YouTube? I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep keep up with all the comments, guys. Apologize if I miss any of the comments on there, but you can stream on YouTube. So I'm streaming, if that was your question. Let me see where I'm at real quick. Okay, so we're on, almost to the fast portion of this track, which means this scenario may actually not be that long, if that's the case, unless we have a lot to do at the, uh, at the yard. You can kind of see what's going on in the exterior. Still not quite light enough as of yet. Get back in cab. And I want to try to raise up the dynamic brake a little bit. See if we can kind of keep at where we're supposed to be.
whatever reason, I guess the uh, dynamic brakes are not keeping this train at bay. You can see my speed's just shooting up for whatever reason. So we're going to have to use automatic brake on top of that. <laughs> yeah, I actually went to, uh, to Walmart and I was about to do a donut in the parking lot because it was icy. I was like, eh, probably a bad idea. I'm, I was sure there's probably a cop just waiting for some idiot like me to do that. So I kind of just took off real quick, let the tires get loose with the traction control off, and I went back home. But I really just wanted to find an empty parking lot to do, do some donuts in. Yeah, the other crazy thing is Houston actually got snow, supposedly. I saw some pictures from uh, AC6000 from the stream on Facebook, and uh, it looked like they got some snow down there as well. <laughs> That's exactly what I said, all the mode. I was like, how are they going to start off a scenario where you can't even see the brand new locomotive? Kind of see it right there, but it's not a good view by any means. Anyways, we'll be able to get up to about 50 miles per hour here in about a mile and a half or so. Nice off-roader. Not used to being on this side of the track going downhill. Usually I'm on the right-hand side. Anyways, in case you guys are just tuning in, we are playing the new DLC that was released for Train Sim World, playing some new scenarios. We'll be doing a game giveaway after each scenario. So definitely appreciate all you guys hanging out with me. And uh, cheers to everybody out there. Yeah, definitely need some new tires if that's the case, off-roader. <laughs> Although, that's probably a lot of people's thoughts, man. Same recycled audio files. That's why I was never a big fan of actually paying for the uh, locomotive DLCs. I'm doing it this time solely so I can get some videos up on YouTube with the new scenarios until rapid transit comes out all right point eight of a mile to go till the 50 mile per hour speed limit i don't really know how long our train is per se it's not wide enough to do a train by either so Sun's definitely slowly coming up. Slowly getting brighter and brighter outside, which is good. There you go. All I know about tires is uh, I go through them a lot the way I drive. Yeah, it's is it faster or is it just like real life? I think it's a little bit faster than real life, right? Probably maybe uh, double speed. It's hard to say though.
<laughs> all mode. Top 10 comments from all the mode. Hate away all mode. I kind of agree with you in, in certain aspects. Saying what's up to the crew, making sure no one's on the tracks, so that they can hear me. And we do have our first intersection coming up. Love the uh, releasing of the brakes. Makes a little psh sound. Pretty cool. Should get clearance to 50 miles per hour here shortly, at which time I'll probably get back in the cab for just a little bit. What up, Muskie? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Definitely appreciate you coming by. All right, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and speed up. Got another intersection coming up as well. I'm going to go ahead and get back in cab. Throttle not going up. That's really weird. I gotta figure out why my throttle's at idle. To get past these intersections here. Is there another one coming up? I can't remember. But there may be two more. Looks like that's it. Let me look at. Oh, I got the dynamic brake going. That's why. That would make sense. Yeah. Thank you, Offroader, for that. I'm telling you, man, the nighttime straight confuses me. I don't know why. Turn the bell off for a little bit. You know, it should be going through a bunch of intersections coming up. There we go. Got an achievement right there. I know, man. I'm off, I'm off tonight. If you guys couldn't tell already. Thirteen miles to go to Cumberland Yard, and I'm gonna go ahead and set up dynamic brakes real quick. Since we're still on a uh, almost one percent decline, Dynamic brakes actually keep my speed down for once. I got the brake warning, so I gotta back the dynamic brake down to six. <laughs> That's alright. No problem, auto mode. Everybody has to hate every now and then. Get it out of your system. No, no. I'm actually just drinking Lone Star. I think the problem is I was drinking earlier. 
having a few beers and then it's been a long day so I'm kind of out of it. <laughs> well, welcome to real life all the mode. I deal with people on a daily basis. By the time I get home, I don't want to deal with anybody whatsoever. I was in the army, so I got to meet all sorts of kind of people. Good and bad. I don't. I think I'm to the age now where I'd rather sit at home alone, to be honest with you. I still go out and hang out with the a big group of friends, or I guess I'd say extended friends. A lot of people are from the bar and clubs that I ride with and motorcycles and things like that, but I don't mind sitting home either. Ten miles to go. As you can see, we're on the fast portion of Sand Patch Grade heading south towards Cumberland and Cumberland Yard. And it's 4.36 in game. Sun is slowly, slowly coming up. Uh oh. You're not tired all the time, are you all the moment? It could be a health issue. Maybe your thyroid. Never know. You see anything in the back? Oh yeah, we can kind of see the train. I guess the sun's probably rising over that way. Still got the 50 mile per hour limit, which is good. And we actually turn down the dynamic brake just a little bit. That makes sense all the mode. Let's go ahead and take dynamic brake down to one. No. Decline starting to increase again, though. We do a train by. Really can't see hardly anything. Locals in the back as well. Oh, break just a little bit too much. Back, let me take off the dynamic break just a bit. Go get back in cab. It's crazy. The uh, the sun actually has effect inside the cab. You guys can see, it's crazy.
<laughs> it's people in your generation that bother you. Go ahead and take off dynamic brake. I'm gonna start using the auto brake for the time being. Let it coast downhill. Still not used to being on this side of the uh, the tracks. It's just kind of weird. kind of how it works out of the mode. When you're the boss, you can get away with more than everybody else. Let's see where we're at real quick. Probably going to have a reduction in speed coming up pretty soon. crossing I can't tell if that's a crossing or not if it's a bridge it's like a bridge uh, yeah it's just a house <laughs> I live like 10 feet from the tracks it really wouldn't make a difference at this point which side of the tracks I live on Some scenery to the right, as you can see. Actually, it's pretty nice with the uh, the houses lit up like that. I know we're about to get a reduction in speed. I just don't know when it's coming up. I didn't see anything for that crossing back there. Maybe I missed it though. Uh, there's a reduction in speed coming up down to 35. So CFM gauge, I have no clue. Maybe someone else can. There you go, cubic feet per minute. I'm going with Crusher on that one because I have no clue. It's all good auto mode. It will get better, I promise you, man. No, Wade Brown, I don't. I haven't heard about it either, but it's one of those things, like, if it actually happens, which I'm sure it does, I don't know if it would ever be on the news or if people would even talk about it. It's one of those things, if the, if the story gets out, then people start copying that what that person did. I do know I've heard the, uh, the train by my house hit the emergency brake a couple times. There's a bar down the street that I go to quite a bit. And I know for a fact that either a car was on the tracks or people were on the tracks down there doing whatever, and that's why they hit the emergency brakes. No, they're not going to add that into the game ever. CSX, you know, who's the uh, delivery on here, they're never going to want something like that in the game, nor would I want to see that for one, but I don't think they're ever going to allow real train crashes either. They don't want their logo on that. All right, we're down to 35. Got about five and a half miles to go to Cumberland Yard.
Shout out to the, uh, what about, 20 people, 25 people or so between Twitch and YouTube. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Definitely appreciate it. Cheers to everybody out there. Got another reduction in speed coming up. And we're going to put on a little bit more brake. That'd be crazy, man, to be on the job and actually kill somebody. That's got to be a horrible feeling to go home to. But there's nothing you can do when you're driving a train. You can't just stop it. By the time you see something, it's too late. Was it the Forzas? It may have been Gran Turismo, because Gran Turismo also never allowed uh, vehicle damage in the old games. But I think you could flip the cars. I remember flipping a Skyline back in the day. <laughs> I mean, I can understand that. If you're in a billion dollar business of selling cars, to not want that, I mean, it's pretty reasonable at that point. You don't want to see your McLaren being used for crash videos on YouTube. Not a good look. That's crazy, Troll. Three to four people. That's crazy, Christopher. Good thing they didn't hit, though. I think there was actually a, uh, a train crash here recently, here in Texas. I don't remember what the city was offhand or how bad it was, but I do know that two trains collided, freight trains. It's gonna reduce speed a little bit more. Gotta get down to 25 miles per hour coming up, about 800 yards or so, and I'm assuming that we're gonna be going through Cumberland here shortly. I've seen people, I haven't seen it, I've heard of a bunch of people dying, falling off a two-story ladder. It happens all the time where people break their ankles doing it. You would think, you know, falling two stories, you wouldn't die, but... It's pretty serious, I know that. That's crazy, Crusher. All right, reductions down to 25. Again, I'm assuming Cumberland's coming up. Let me look at the map. Yeah, we have to be going through Cumberland right here. So you keep an eye on my speed. And just uh, hear trains outside of my house right now. Or a really loud truck, one or the other. See the train at all? Kind of can. Oops. Can't really see anything in this view. It's not a whole lot. Another exterior view for a little bit. Am I going? Th I'm going through the narrows, a la mode. Huh. 
<laughs> That's crazy, Buster. You're putting a bike. I used to put pennies on the track when I lived in Italy. I know people used to say you could derail a train with pennies. I don't think that's possible, but I could be wrong on that, too. Alright, so we're on the Narrows now, then we're going to be going to Cumberland. If I trust anybody on that, it would definitely be you all the mode, so... Thank you for that info. Finally on flat track. <laughs> I definitely am strummer. My place downtown's finished. Um, to do the cooking stream, I would have to buy another computer. That's kind of what's been holding me up. And I really need to figure out the whole having multiple cameras. I know how to set up scenes on XSplit and, and software like that, but I need to have a computer that can handle, you know, eight or nine different cameras. And so that's kind of my issue. Um, I don't know if it's called like a bus. You only have a, a certain bandwidth on the bus. So running two um, webcams on my computer right now is almost impossible. And I have high-end PCs, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong offhand. <laughs> a petty crocker box mix, hell yeah. I'm down to make some brownies, Crusher. Right, we have a yellow coming up, which is a little nerve-wracking. Keep an eye on that. It's Cumberland. I think it's... Uh, actually, there's a no uh, whistle tolerance in Cumberland, right? So we're going to turn the bell off. I forgot you're not supposed to even blow your horn in Cumberland. It's part of the noise ordinance. So we'll take that off. And we have to get down to 20 miles per hour coming up too. Yeah, that makes sense out of the mode. What up, Red Clay? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Definitely appreciate you coming by. Thank you for the auto host a la mode. All right, finally in Cumberland, heading towards Cumberland Yard, which is just over two and a half miles to go. Really, Tyson? Why would Cumberland have a problem with crime? Is it just nothing to do there? Lack of employment or what? What up, James? How's it going on? What's up, man? I couldn't tell you, Racer. Obviously, the price is probably going to be the difference, but I don't know what's good or bad. So we have a green light coming up, which is good. I don't know why we had the yellow before us. It's kind of strange. Ah, uh, it was like meth epidemic or something. I could see that. A lot of those rural towns are hit with really, really bad drug problems. Alright, finally switching to the correct side of the track. Just going to do a quick train by like this here in Cumberland. I think that's a pretty cool shot. Switching the track right there. Section 8. Yeah, we got it. There's a ton of Section 8 everywhere. People using housing vouchers. Oop, and I need to get down. That reduced to 15 miles per hour all of a sudden without warning me. So we're just over 8,000 points as you guys can see in the top right. Just gonna bail off my brakes. I don't know why I'm not increasing speed. I'm on notch two. Going downhill, you'd think I would be uh, increasing speed pretty rapidly. I'm 
There you go. Six core versus quad core, like Crusher said. Thank you for that info. Pretty good, James. Had a really good Thanksgiving with people. What up, Maverick? Did make a live stream. Congrats. Not much, Joshua. We're just uh, playing the new DLC from Train Sim right now, or Train Sim World. Got almost 30 people in here, which is way more than I thought. So congratulations for everybody being part of tonight's live stream, hopefully slash YouTube video, depending on how good or bad this goes. Uh, so the reddish tint is because the sun's coming up, as you can see. That's just how the game... It's been basically nighttime almost this entire scenario. I can get back in cab now. We're getting pretty close to heading into Cumberland Yard. In fact, we're switching a lot more. Let me see what we're doing. Alright, so just switching tracks again. train heading up. Sam passed great. I guess he was waiting on me to switch to the correct track. Get back in cab again. Awesome, Mavic. Appreciate you coming by, man. Uh, keep in mind, if you guys are just tuning in, we're playing the new DLC from Train Sim World on CSX Heavy Hall. And we will be giving away a free game after this scenario. And we'll probably be doing another scenario or two after this. Using, I think it's, what is it, the GP40-2 is the DLC? I can't even remember. I'm still out of it tonight, so I apologize, guys, for that. Thank you, Maverick, for the follow. Uh, keep in mind, you cannot chat after following for at least 10 minutes, so don't be discouraged. Give yourself 5-10 minutes, you'll be able to chat and Twitch in no time if you want to. I have James. Yeah, I really like the Gold Rush game uh, from Playway. I got it for free. They always hook me up with their games, which is really awesome of them. But I wish it was multiplayer. That's the one huge negative of Gold Rush is that it's not multiplayer. And that's really a bummer on my end. Ooh, 18 core processor? Can you even use an 18 core processor? Is that possible? Does Windows even allow it? Is my question. Nice, Red Clay. Definitely recommend coming down to, uh, to San Antonio. I think it's a good vacation destination you can eat some good food downtown go to the pro brewery i just bought a place down there or a townhouse in that area it's a part of downtown from the river walk so you can actually take a boat to downtown downtown if you want to thank you for the host tj but uh, the pro brewery is like the new spot to go it's still on the river but it's uh very i'm not gonna say upscale per se but it's just new, fresh, cleaner than most of downtown. Highly, highly recommend it. Thank y'all, Modi. I wasn't sure. I always second. I keep wanting to say like the SD40-2, but it is the GP40-2. Got about a mile and a half to go, and we're stuck at about 15 miles per hour right now, as you can see, as we head into Cumberland Yard. Looking at the map, you can see we're very, very close to the yard. Yeah, Cumberland's a long way away from San Antonio, Texas, that was the only problem. Yeah, you're probably right, Crusher, on that. 
I could see specialized engineering software being able to use it or allowing it, but everything I'm going to use it for, no. But the SD40-2 is already in the game, correct? It must are you talking to me about the snow from ben Benji? I'm talking about like Benji from Howard Stern show? What do you mean Benji? We did get some snow the other day though, which is really crazy. Extra push. I don't know, Troll. What up, Sand? How's it going, man? Is that what they called it? I didn't know what they called it, Benji. That's weird. Very strange. Winter Storm Benji. It's such a weird name to give a storm. It's like what I would call a dog. Troll, I just... Man, if I, if I had to put $10 on it, I would say the next route will be a passenger route in the U.S. after rapid transit. Could be wrong. I'm not going to say I'm 100% right, but I if someone was here betting me money, I'd put money on it. As long as you bet on a specific you know, continents, and whether it's freight or passenger, too. Is there sand? I highly, highly recommend I buy power. I don't think there's a, unless you're going to build a computer system yourself, there's not a huge markup like some of the other companies out there, like Alienware and, and certain other ones. But you get more what you pay for, and it's going to be a quality system, too. Rapid Transit. I know it's in Germany. Uh, passenger route. I don't know the details on it. I didn't really look at it closely when I pre-ordered it. I don't think it's going to be a New York uh, metro station, but that'd be cool. Or system. Yeah, it's just a German line, like Troll said. That's awesome, Red Clay. All right, we're finally in the yard, heading to track four. We can actually kind of see what's going on now. You can see the livery, CSX livery right there. So the sun is somewhat up. Amtrak goes by my house usually around midnight every night, plus or minus four hours, which is, if you're on Amtrak anywhere in Texas, ooh, that's a really red tent right there from the, that's a weird look right there. Sun's definitely peeking over the hill, I guess. But uh, the Amtrak, that was really weird. Okay, I guess the sun's out. Anyways. Uh, yeah, if you're trying to go anywhere fast on the Amtrak train here in Texas, don't do it. They don't seem to ever be on town or on time from what I see. Nice, Christopher. That's awesome. What's wrong with the Amazon, James? I love Amazon. Amazon has never done me wrong, I'll tell you that much. They even give me Amazon Prime, which is amazing. Free two-day shipping. Can't beat that. There's that There's that red tent. We're going through some filter phases when the sun comes up for whatever reason.
<laughs> there you go. Exactly what San said. That's why I love Amazon. That was much better than what I could have said. Honestly, man, buying even like your towels and stuff on Amazon is pretty amazing. Why are they deleting your account, James? Are you trying to hack it? What are you trying to do? Cheaper than Walmart, cheaper than your grocery store. I don't know what's up with the filtering. It's really weird. It's going from like this reddish hue to normal. Well, that's awesome. I didn't know there was a, uh, a student Amazon Prime. So what is that, like 50 bucks a year? Alright, let's get back in cab because we're stopping up here in about six, seven hundred yards. Question is, are we on the correct track? I swear to God, I hope we're on the correct track. Okay, we are. <laughs> that made me nervous. I saw like the, it looks like the star is all the way over there to the right, but we're actually heading that way, so. This is where like blinders or these uh, visors would come in handy right there. I don't want the wipers or. Jesus Christ. It's really cool how he does that. You look that way, nothing. That way, the sun. So you can actually use the visors in this game, which is really cool. That's awesome, off-roader. Man, if you could have invested in either Amazon or Bitcoin back in the day, you would be rich right now. Even if you only put like five or 10,000 into that stock or to Bitcoins. All right, just about uh, a little over 200 yards to go. I haven't used Apple Music. I use Spotify still, which I absolutely love. I pay for Spotify, which is crazy, but it's a lot better than going out to buy CDs like back in the day. Yeah, see that guy, that guy did it right, Sam, if that's the case. Because what's it at right now? Isn't it over $1,000 per Bitcoin? See, I've been screwed on eBay a few times, James by sellers like I ordered a uh, back in the day like a 311 CD it was supposed to be custom and it was just complete it was a burned 311 CD is what it was with the fake cover on the front I was like man that's messed up damn 13,000 for one Bitcoin Jesus Christ I didn't know it was that high stop just had a few yards to go come on you can do a train let's get there there we go objective complete so reverser needs to go to neutral Needs to go to full application, I believe. There we go. Turn off the ditch lights, gauge lights. Actually, turn off all lights when it says. Okay. Let's go ahead and get out of the cab.
What up, Brad? Thank you for the follow. Definitely appreciate it. Alright, don't hit me train, please. Alright, almost 10,000 points in the top right right there. Oh, damn. There we go. 20,000 points total. Let's see what it actually gives us. 6750 towards our profile. Alright, guys. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you guys for watching me. If you guys are watching this on live stream, whether it's Twitch or uh, YouTube as well on the live stream, we're going to go ahead and give away a free game here in just a minute. Anyways, I definitely appreciate you for watching. Make sure to go to twitch.tv slash gamer and click on the follow button. It's kind of what keeps me going and making these videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers. Don't you know? Don't you know? It is getting low.